Okay, upper half of the slide is finished. There's one, two, three, four feet, a little over four feet of weld on the ramps. Oh, do I have a light on this thing? As you can see, I made a lot of short runs. And then let it cool down. I did about three. Then I'd go to the other side. Do about three. One and a half, two inch welds on this. One continuous bead would have put an awful lot of heat in there, melted my plastic clip, and possibly warped the damn thing. Even though it's an eighth inch thick, I didn't want to distort anything, put any bind on the tracks if it did warp. Here is where I tried the anti-splatter spray. As I do a little weld, it just bubble and splatter. As I stop welding, it would boil up. If I grind that off, I find little voids, bubbles inside air pockets. You can see them right here. If I can find my finger. Here's air pockets in the weld, a bubble air pockets, a bubble. As it started to dry out, it got better. But you can't weld through the anti-splatter. Bubbles. Bubbles. If I did more practice, I would be better at welding. And that's what the bottom looks like. Using my little rollers for support. Nobody has seen time is five till nine. Okay, over and out. We're going home. No more playing. Lights off, heaters off, camera off. my toolbox underneath the camera. Correction. Tool tray. Cart. Tray. Ooh. Little craftsman glove here. Well, I'll just put battery on charger.
didn't think that matter would be gonna make it through there. Oh, back in a minute. Let's deburse the edges here. Swivels. A little swivel lets me grind at any angle. So when you're doing intricate jobs, when you're in tight areas, they'll get in well just today, but I gotta grind them down. Time to switch. Two inch, one and three quarters. I think I wore this one out. I'll save it. I have a one inch arbor. This is my bad arbor. Go back and clean it up. about the spring I just dropped. 